What's going on guys? Today we're gonna to be doing a full tour, looking at a couple different price points in Cameron Park. Now I'm in the iconic Cameron Park neighborhood where as you can see behind me, we have the widest streets ever. And get this, the reason is everyone has a hangar. This place is so cool. You can actually fly your plane right on in park it in your garage and you're good to go take it out when you want to just call it in and you're going to your next destination now real quick note these houses right here they're actually not priced too bad you can actually find uh, price points starting right around eight hundred thousand, and then going up to there i think the highest sale that i've seen the last year or so is about 2.1 but other than that, guys, let's go ahead and let's get started on looking at some of these neighborhoods and what Cameron Park has to offer. And oh yeah, before I go any further, hit the like button, subscribe, ding that notification bell, because I got new videos coming out for you every single week. Let's go. Okay guys, so we are at the first house right here. As you can see, it's a single story house. Now this property right here is a four bedroom, three bathroom, uh, just over 2,200 square foot. It's been on the market for about a couple weeks. It actually went into contract and fell out. Now, one of the key things to remember when you're in Cameron Park is your positioning on your lot. So as you can see, this one is actually pretty flat with the lot. And I'll show you a little bit more of this on the drive but then it kind of goes downhill. So as you look at some of the other properties, like maybe take this one right here, it, you're starting to get this slope down. That can really affect the, the price point on a property in here. So when you're out here looking like this property right here is 695, it's got a decent view here. Also the backyard, and I'll show you this hopefully on the pictures here, as it's going down, uh, you don't have a lot of usable land. Now this one does have a, uh, a pool that's built on a deck, so that's a big bonus. Uh, but because of that land or unusable land, uh, the price points of these properties are gonna be a little bit lower. Cause then you can get kind of just right across the street. And I think that's where a lot of people get confused in Cameron Park is you have one that's say in the 600s and then you jump across the street and that one's in the 800s. And it's really going to be positioning. And then of course your amenities. This property, as you can see from the pictures, kitchen's been done, bathrooms have been remodeled. It's really a beautiful house. It's got the window packaging all set up on it. Um, and it's really just a beautiful neighborhood. These are one of those houses that if you're coming to Cameron Park, a lot of people are looking for, uh, especially because you get that view and you're just not too far you're overlooking that little man-made lake there. So I'm gonna do a quick drive around so you can kind of see the different elevations. We'll do a little bit of a flyover so you can see the rest of the neighborhood and the views that you get in Cameron Park and then we'll hit the next house. Okay guys, so we are back at our next neighborhood. Now, the property right behind me here is going to be a lot newer build than the one we just came from. But you'll also notice this one has solar. It's a five bedroom, three bathroom, and square footage wise is just over 3,200 square foot. Now, I don't know if you can see this in the background, but this is again what Cameron Park is all about. You've got a ton of views throughout here. And this is why this one right here is priced over a million dollars. So as you can see from the last property that we saw, which is a smaller property and an older property, but from that property to we're just a couple miles uh, away from that property and up the hill, you can see what the price difference is. Now, if this property, same built, uh, a little lower or maybe the next door neighbor to the one that we just came from because it's newer uh, as you can see as we scroll through the pictures you can see that everything is basically custom on this property this property probably would only sell for maybe eight hundred thousand. but because we're at the top of the hill which i'm going to definitely find fly this drone over the top so you guys can see it and 
uh, we actually have about an acre, acre and a half of usable land, you're going to pull a lot more money for these properties. So keep that in mind. Now, with that said, I'm gonna walk up this just a minute here. We're at the top of the hill. So you're not gonna have as many neighbors. So let me flip this around. So we've got the house here, right? And then as we flip around though, no neighbors, nothing. Now, there is right around the corner of this little, well, you can see even their garbage cans here. Go around the other side there, uh, about probably another half mile down the road, you do have some neighbors down there. But if you wanna be a little bit closer to your neighbors or to people, usually you wanna be a little bit lower on the hill. But the views here, like I say, they're just spectacular. The other thing being up top here, or really shouldn't just say being up top here, but you need to remember, depending on where you're at in Cameron Park, you could be on septic, propane tank, and possibly even a well, just depending on really where you're situated at. So the first house, we're actually all public, public water, public sewer, um, public gas, everything down there, you had it. Up here, you're a little bit more on your own. So you've got a propane tank that you gotta make sure it gets filled. You're also gonna be on your own septic system. So those are things that you have to take into consideration because at some point that's going to have to be pumped and dumped. Just little things to remember. Even though you get this beautiful view, you do have some more maintenance on this property. So one, I'm gonna drive around. You can kind of see the rest of the neighborhood, but two, we're going up. I'm showing you this neighborhood for sure. Let's get at it. Right, guys so we're at the last house it's the one right behind me this is gonna be a two-story house now this one is beautiful uh, property on this one actually is right in that mid 700s like I said today I just wanted to kind of show you guys different looks different price points in Cameron Park uh, 700 actually is going to be uh, really close to what the um, average price point is in Cameron Park this one's beautiful as you can see it's been redone got a lot of travertine in it uh, still probably needs another refresh on it also has a pool but this one is a four bedroom three bathroom just over 2400 square foot this one's also at the bottom of a hill so uh, as we do the drive through as we do the overhang um, you'll really notice that this property in particular it is going to feel like a more of a, um, a residential area we're also not too far from the actual um, parks and also the golf course sorry about the dogs there behind me but let's get that drive through so you can see the different types of houses We'll go ahead and wrap this whole thing up and then like i said we'll also hit that flyover real quick just so you can kind of see a little bit of uh the neighborhoods when you're at the lower um, portion of some of these hills let's get into it And that is our last neighborhood, guys. So hopefully you guys got to see a couple different neighborhoods, kind of how Cameron Park is set up. Uh, one of the things I will also say is Cameron Park for a long time, even though it's not, was really kind of regarded as almost like a retirement place. It's really changed in the last couple years. Uh, you're seeing a lot of families moving in there, especially as El Dorado Hills really pushes against them. Uh, you're, you're seeing more and more families go to the area. It also has really great schools. One of the other things that we didn't feature here today, but is a really big thing out there, condos. There are a ton of condos in the area. So if you're not ready to buy that house, but you maybe you wanna own something, let us know. We can also search up some different condos. Condos are gonna start in that, say, low 400s and then move up from there. You can really actually get a nice spread in that, uh, say, 
450 range. This is going to be overlooking some of the little lakes that they've got out there, really close to the golf course there as well. And other than that, that's all I got for you. If you guys are looking to buy or sell in the area, please reach out. We're going to come out with a pros and cons next on the area, so just stay tuned for that. We'll see you on the next one. Bye.